John Titor was a military time traveler from the year 2036. His name first appeared online in the Art Bell Forum in 2001. He began by posting a picture of his time machine along with a picture of its military operations manual. John Titor was sent back in time by his government to obtain computer parts that had become scarce. He wrote of the survivalism of our near future. When the U.S. presidency is stolen by the hacking of electronic voting machines, this is followed by a coup, which is the seed of the next American Civil War. People like Titor, living in large cities, traded away their civil rights, expecting better security in return. One of his neighbors was arrested for no reason. Then, when his own apartment was searched, he and his family moved to a rural area in Florida, where still they had to avoid the National Guard. He worked with his father, hauling oranges up and down the coast by sailboat. The cities began to raise their own armies in order to raid the food and supplies of those now living in the country. The country mice decided to fight back. Titor eventually joined his rural militia, the Fighting Diamondbacks and did a four-year tour in the new Civil War. This is how he lost hearing in his right ear. The conflict lasted ten years until it was interrupted by World War III. Russia unleashed its nuclear arsenal on all of our major cities. The U.S. retaliated and a total of three billion people died. The cities of both sides were destroyed and permanently poisoned. At the same time, Red China annexed a number of satellite nations. The Philippines, North and South Korea, Cambodia, and Vietnam. The Chinese tried and failed to take Australia. However, no one heard any casualty reports from down under. They were not destroyed. They simply shut themselves off from the rest of the world. After the war, fresh water got harder to come by without first speaking to someone with a gun. Communities began to form around universities and colleges because that's where the books are. That's also where they built their forts. People spent a great deal of time working in the fields because food was no longer available from the outside world. Now it is like the Old West. There are no working hospitals. But if you get sick, a doctor will make a house call traveling by horse and buggy. There was a great awakening of religion, but the Sabbath now falls on Saturday when the churches are filled with men and women dressed in their finest clothes. The rest of the week is filled with community dances and bonfires. More people know how to read music and they play together in small groups. The elderly are highly revered. The community in which John's mother and father live consists of tree houses. The post-war U.S. split into five separate political regions, each with its own president. The presidents all work in the U.S. Capitol, 
The new capital is Omaha, Nebraska. There is no more freedom of movement. A man can travel as far as his bicycle will carry him, but he must return home. If one wishes to move, one must apply to and be interviewed by one's new community. The new citizen is expected to pull his weight or he risks banishment by the community leaders. Why did John Titor go public? He would say only his reasons were personal. Maybe he just liked bragging about his job. He uploaded this remarkable demonstration of the gravity field surrounding his idle time travel machine, which can be seen bending the light of a pen laser. Not since 2001 has he been heard from, the year we now mark as his return to the future. Before leaving, John Titor offered some advice. Learn basic backwoods sanitation. Learn to keep your weapon clean, and then learn how to shoot it. And pack yourself a bug out bag, holding the things you would bring with you if you had to leave your home in five minutes, never to return. <laughs>